Hi, it's Viola, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my makeup. I've just washed my hair and you can see that video, um, I'll put a link to it here and I'll show you how I got these results. Um, but for now, on this video I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to be using my MAC Mischief Minx palette to do my eyes and kind of just drawing on a lot of these autumnal colours that are in this palette. I start off, I've already creamed my skin um, because I kind of, I want, you know, to pamper myself a little bit. So today I'm going to use a primer. This is the Laura Mercier um, Foundation Primer. Not too much, but definitely in this kind of t zone area on my cheeks and on my nose. That's where I find that I would need priming right now. Okay. Then for foundation, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. I'm gonna use about, I'll start, I'm gonna start off with one and a half pumps of this. And I think if you watch my last kind of chatty get ready video you might have seen about my um, I'm doing my sister's makeup for her wedding and she really likes how it looks when it's applied with a brush so I've been using a brush to apply my foundation recently just so I can get used to the look and the motion so that's really flattened my face but to sculpt it back out I'm using my studio fix fluid foundation Studio Fix Fluid Concealers. Um, the light one's in NC40 and the dark is NC55. I used this dark one really sparingly. When I first got it, I used to put so much, but it's really unnecessary. So then I will uh, generously apply this concealer. I'm just going to use Beauty Blender just to blend this out. So if you're like me and you're not a professional, what's quite nice is that I can then use my foundation brush, brush just to blend out all the edges of everything that I've just done. And that's kind of the neutral in-between shade. If I'm like, oh, like I'm going out, I want this to, I want to be more contoured, you can just add a few more dots and just layer up that base in that kind of way instead of kind of going in too bold to begin with. So I'm just putting on a bit more of this contour shade here, blending it upwards, a bit more on my lid, using that excess on the on my nose and again just using the excess of that concealer just making sure everything looks like it should which I think I'm about there yes so at the moment I don't have my favourite eyebrow pencil, but that's okay, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to just brush up my brows with a spoolie on the end of this other eyebrow pencil. And then today I'm going to be using the sleek um, eyebrow kit, I've had this for a while, like ages ago, I used to use it all the time, I don't really use it anymore, because I just found the pencil, the MAC pencil, just so much quicker. Um, so I'm going to use this pink colour with a large fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that all over my lid and then I also buffed it into the crease. I'm adding more and more to my crease now just to kind of show that true pink colour. And I did have a little bit of foundation on my lids before so that really just helps it to really cling on and then you can just kind of buff out the edge with your finger as well just to kind of make sure that there's no harsh lines there. This is going to be quite a simple eye look and I find it quite good when obviously if you're like me, not an expert, I quite like to balance things out so rather than finish one eye and start on the other, to 
make sure that they both look the same I find it easier to do one step here and then the same step on the other side so I'm going to be doing that So that is that and then with a flat brush that I'm going to spray just with a little bit of setting spray you can, or you can use like Fix Plus and then I'm going to take this kind of goldy like I don't have a colour like this in any of my other palettes and I'm going to put this all over my lid then when it comes to my crease I can use this just to blend the two colours. With my little under eye brush I'm going to again use that pink colour under my eye. Let's see. It's all coming together. Now I need to my eyes aren't 100% finished, but we'll double back to that in a little while. I'll go ahead and finish my face makeup. Swiss chocolate in my contour. I make this like sucking the something sour face. <laughs> it really helps you to find your cheekbones. You kind of want that look, but not looking super crazy so don't go over the top and a little bit of nose contour but not too much and for my type of nose um, I just go down down and then and contour pretty much the whole of the tip like a bit Rudolphy but I like it you'll see I do it a lot so you've you've seen it before and it just works for me. I like having a brown nose. I'm, I'm a brown person. So, I will go back to the, going back to that MAC Mischief Minx palette. I'm gonna use the bronze color in here as my bronze, instead of using a different one, just so that you can you know, get a feel for it. And this is quite shimmery. But it's great for like when you are not going to work, when it's like a night out. Then it totally works really, really well. Next highlight, using my MAC highlighter, it's really broken to pieces so I can't really show you. And then finish the eyes with some of this in the inner corners. I always go back in with a tiny bit more concealer and then I've just got to put on some lipstick and some mascara just gonna use mascara today no lashes Secret weapon products that I really really love is this Charlotte Tilbury eye stick. This is um, I have no idea what colour this one is. It's this one. And I'll use this in my waterline. And I don't know if you can see just how this eye just looks like more like sultry. Like a little snatched eyeball. <laughs> And of course it does kind of make your eyes look more closed so if you have really small eyes and that is something you're trying to get away from then don't put stuff in your waterline <laughs> so there we go now I'm just missing a little bit of cheek rouge which recently I've been using this Bobbi Brown one that I just put on like this and it's just so, just looks really fresh and pretty because it is 
really dewy and stuff, it's nice. On my lips, what have I got near me? I'm just gonna use some fresh brew, just cause it's here. Put on a bit of mare with it. Just to pink up the look. I just really make sure that the edges of that is blend are blended out. Then to finish off my face, it would not be a complete look without setting spray. You aren't using setting spray, get some. It really does transform how your makeup turns out, how it looks, how it feels. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. That's the one that I've I'm using now. I do have I have tried others, but this is the one that I like the most. I find that you know, like some setting sprays can make your face feel too warm. This doesn't do that, so it's really good. So this is the finished makeup look. Please subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be trying to put out more videos, let me know what you're into, let me know what you like and hopefully I'll see you back here again with another video that you'll enjoy.